being a pain in the ass. No, I said same medicine, man. You're if you call me names, I can call you name. Uh, dude, you're asking people to, to apologize when I don't think they should. I didn't say that. I didn't ask you to apologize. I said I made I made a statement saying that you are not even man enough to apologize. Well, I'll tell you what I am. <laughs> hey, guys, this is a uh, direct response to Brucifer. <clears throat> so we had a little alteration. Uh, before he deletes his video, I just want to like make a response video. And this is when he kicks people and he thinks that's being man enough. I'm man enough to do it at this point. That's to kick your ass the hell out of here. <laughs> Stupid. Sorry, bud. Enough of that. This guy's not party guy's time. Well, looks like we're all. I mean, this guy's 60 years old, man. And I mean, almost like, I don't know. More than actually, more than dozen dozen years on YouTube, he's been doing nothing but putting his stupid Jewy <laughs> nose on other people's business that has nothing to do with him. And on top of that, he's just exaggerates so many things to the point that I mean, you know, he would aggravate everything. You know, like for example, he would like accuse me of like uh, doing some sort of uh, pornography and some kind of drug dealing and this this guy has been doing the same crap all this time and he's been doing that to other people I mean I don't understand why he's on YouTube at all and he's been uh, minding none of his business trying to, to police everyone based on false crap left yeah i'm not <laughs> up for that there's a point where you gotta let that stop i'm sorry i asked if the domains were still <laughs> pointed at our channel oh, no i i kicked uh sam i don't and just because i have certain domains doesn't mean that i have some kind of porn website right and even sabella she was like t saying that if i have some domains pointed and you know, obviously, then she hasn't checked it. You know, I mean, she should actually check it and see what's going on. And if nothing is pointed, then, you know, she shouldn't even mention it. No, you okay. did a multiple band. No, I'm just kidding. I was going to say, how did I do that? You know, <laughs> a glitch. I'm sorry I asked yeah. about the. No, the I, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, there's a point. I mean, why is she apologizing to this Brucifer? <laughs> I don't understand why she's apologizing to him. It's like, I, you know, it's an accusation, a statement, whatever you want to call it. It's an accusation. And I'm like, no, I'm not. I already was pretty clear that I'm, I'm not going to oh, play yeah. that game. Uh, joining like sides and like everybody, all the hugs and everybody gets along and everything's wonderful. And, you know, it's like, hey, hey, you know. But what I mean, like, be real sometimes. I am interested though. Like, what, like, what would it take? Like, would it take Sam apologizing for the domains or? No, I, I think that, uh, it's just kind of stupid. And you stuff. can forgive him. No, 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 no. It, it's the kind of thing where somebody's saying you're not mad. They're enough never going to gonna get along like that. Uh, excuse oh, me. Okay. They're never going to get along no, like no. that. No, uh, so, oh, I'm, I'm explaining what I'm trying to say. He's if he's going to say him. you're not mad enough. If he's going to say you're not man enough to apologize, then he's going to have trouble. Cause of <laughs> because you're a pussy, Brucifer. <laughs> you're nothing but a pussy. See, I hit your nerve, you know, and you got pricked. And you know what you have done wrong. And when I said you can, you're not even man enough, you cannot be even man enough to apologize. You know, you just, all you have to do is kick people, rage kick people. That's you, Brucifer. Don't start poking at people. You you can't expect an apology from people that, that don't feel they owe you one. Well, you definitely owe me one because you've been falsely accusing me for like over a decade. Okay, Brucifer? And when that is proven wrong and you want to you just want to brush it off. I'm not going to brush it off. And even Ra would say, oh, just forgive and forget. 
why should I just forgive and forget? You know, I'm not God. Even God doesn't even do that, all right? And only there is forgiveness when there is some sort of asking for forgiveness. Nobody asks me for any kind of forgiveness, and why should I forgive them or forget them? It's not right. It's not fair, you know? What the heck is it? It's not fair. Listen, Bruce, you are the one who's been crapping false accusations, okay? So it is only right that you can only apologize. But then again, you are just a pussy. You are nothing but a little chicken who can only, quote unquote, man up to kick people and then have your all your saying after uh, you kick them. That's you. That's how cowardly you are. You are you are a coward. Fair to people, you know. Or nothing. I mean, we were getting along fine, and then he's demanding, you know, an apology. Or no, I don't demand apology. Just because I demand, do you think you will do it? You are not even man enough to apologize. It's a statement. Do you understand, Lucifer? I don't demand anything from you. I don't even expect anything from you. That's the way you are, and that's what you've been. That's how you've been on YouTube for years after years. I mean, I've known you, like, uh, more than anyone, okay? I know you. I know who you are. But like your daddy Satan, nothing but a coward, falsely accusing against other people. Or saying you're not mad enough, uh. and that kind of thing. It's like, well, hey, bud, don't expect that. Uh -uh. Yeah, you are not man enough. Okay, you are nothing but a chicken coward. I'm, I'm, I wish, yeah, I wish you guys could get along, but I mean, no. I understand where you're coming from. You know, no. and and it's, and then and, it'll uh, turn into the thing. It's not about you, and that's the way I always see this crap on YouTube with people. It's like, oh, then shut the heck up, Lucifer. Stop minding none of your business. All right, I don't know who the heck you think you are. And, you know, just call, go and play guitar. Why are you on YouTube? You don't have any content to provide. You nothing but, you know, raise contentions. Nothing but raise strifes. That's all you do, right? And then you go, you play innocent. I mean, what, what, why, you do, why do you even do that kind of stupid things? Hmm? Don't then. Well, why don't you mind your own business? Well, exactly. Mind your own stupid business, Lucifer. I mean, what did I even do to you? I mean, think about it. What did I even do to you personally? What did Levi do done to you personally? All you have to all you have to do is you can you can only think about what they had done to you. Nobody has done to you wrong. Nobody has done to you. You are the one putting your stupid big old Jewy nose anywhere, everywhere. And then you stop falsely accusing. All right? I mean, here's the thing. If you don't other people respond to you, then don't even start. Why do you cry boohoo when people respond to you? Hmm? I mean, why? I mean, it's none of your business. Why do you put your stupid nose, man? Oh, excuse me. I don't like that the way you treat other people. <laughs> doesn't matter how I treat other people, for example. It's between me and them. And how do I even treat other people? I mean, why is it even your business? You see, that's exactly what I'm talking about. It's none of your business. That's between me and them. All right? And also, just because I treat other people in a certain way, it doesn't make you right. All right, Lucifer? I mean, you are using that G-Man logic. You know, people talking crap about him, and G-Man will be saying, oh, well, look at this guy. I mean, does it justify what he does? The same thing what you're doing, all right? Just because I have some kind of things with other people doesn't mean that what you have done to me is is justified. Do you understand? I think that this guy's so, stupidity, man. In other words, you're supposed to not care about anybody? It's like, well, they treat me good. So care about? What do you so mind your own stupid business. That's all. All right. You are the one going around judging other people, you know, and expecting them to fall before you. You are the one expecting others to fit around you. It doesn't work that way. If you want to be respected, 
Learn to respect others and keep yourself away from none of your business, you idiot. So they're okay. It's like, well, no, that's bullshit. It is bullshit to put your nose where it doesn't belong. And when other people respond to you, keep, you know, you got to expect that. I mean, do you think that you are the only one with a mouth? Uh-huh. You know, I mean, that's not the way. <laughs> Look at this Logan guy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's like, it's like Shady and Rev. Rev going, uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, a civilized society works. <laughs> civilized society is when you don't mind none of your business, okay? And if someone challenges you, don't go crying boohoo. And you should be man enough to apologize if, if you are wrong. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you, you can have people going around raping and killing people and stuff and say, yeah, well, they're nice to me. So I what the heck? Well, nobody has raped anybody, okay? Nobody has committed any crimes. I mean, do you understand? I mean, here's the thing. I'm not being nice to you. I didn't rape anyone, right? So why are you even putting that kind of stupid example? If I were to borrow your stupid logic, then what about you? You have, what have you done? Why are you raping other people? Why are you pillaging other people? Why are you doing all that crap? And, and plus, you are not even treating me right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what kind of logic is that, Bucifa? I guess they're okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, man. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, I mean, there's a lot of crazy shit that's happening online and just in the world. Regardless, it's like, well, yeah. If you're on, well, if you're on my weird. side, I can I can look the other way. Right, well, right. Do. I mean, that's what you are doing. Even like David got this local guy. You are also doing the same thing with Lucifer. And I remember, I remember going because outside. You're, you're and getting, in my camp, and yeah, that's like. I remember going outside one day, and I, yeah. I heard just yelling outside, you know. This big bruiser dude used to be next door, you know. Anyhow, well, he's dead, man. He, I think he died from crack. At any rate, I hear his yelling, and it was so loud that he had his big, heavy voice. He's yelling, and it was bouncing off the wall across the street. I look over, and he has this old guy um, leaned over this freaking... Uh, we was sitting on his step, and there's this, uh, these, like, logs and stuff around with their uh, yard work outside the restaurant. It's like an apartment building upstairs. Anyhow, he has him, like, lean back, and he has his fist back, and he's holding him like he's going to pound him. He's screaming like that, you know? I first thought it was coming from across the street, and then when I realized where it was, I just started walking over towards him. And then he, <laughs> he went up the steps, and I'm like, well, at any rate, the whole damn point is, I mean, are you supposed to say, well, you know, I, I like the guy. <laughs> you like the guy? Uh, no, you don't like me. So the comparison right there is off. Let's say I've been screaming whatever, which I didn't, right? And you don't even like me. So I don't even know why you're putting out that sort of idiotic uh, comparison. Okay? And also, you know, as a side note, why are you going out there? If somebody is screaming, just call the cops or whatever. Why are you going out? Are you a police in your town? Why are you minding your stupid business? Or, or do you confront it? Or do you, you know, do you sit and watch it? You know, what do you do? Call the cops. If you're, you know, so, if you're so bothered about it, call the cops, man. I'm sorry, man. Like, I, I can't, I just can't go with that kind of thing where. What is that? I mean, what kind of comparison is that? I mean, why do you even say that? You know, do you know why you say it? Because you have nothing to say. All right, you know what you have done wrong. You know you're at wrong. And then you're just going to have to just talk and talk and talk out of your way. Just like what you've been doing. Everything is cool just because. Oh, well, yeah, you're, you're not supposed to like. You. You know? What do you mean everything is, is cool? If you don't like it, call the cops. It's simple as that in that case. You know, obviously you went out there because you didn't like right? Or are you going to stop them by yourself? That's what you're, uh, you, that's what you've been doing on YouTube here. You are the one going out yourself, you know, dogging on other people, minding none of your uh, business, like a little old lady. And that's why uh, Levi is calling you Brusette 
you know, a little like a little girl, then you just uh, when people respond to you, you just cry boohoo, you know. You're not supposed to like, you know, be at peace with everything that somebody does, even if you feel that they're your buddy or something. You know, you shouldn't be that way. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, if they start doing something horrendous, then yeah, and like at least in that instance, nothing happened. At least I, th I guess I think he was probably. In uh, who knows? But he stopped and, and he stopped and he, and he left. But, you know, maybe I did yell at him, I guess. But, you know. Why, are you, why is he even telling us all this? Right? I mean, it has nothing to do with anything. The dang thing is, though, I mean, I, yeah, I can't imagine. Like, I don't know. I'm just not into the peaceful hippie thing. And I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. If you want to be, if you don't want to be in peaceful hippie thing, and you got to put your stupid big old nose into everything and make up crap. Don't be surprised when people respond to you. Okay, Lucifer? Don't cry boohoo like a little girl that you are. Don't kick people out for nothing. I mean, that's, that's, I mean, I understand that's what you do because you're a coward. But don't expect that nobody will respond to your stupid crap. All right? You know, it, well, it's it, okay. I mean, look, it takes time. Ask... First. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm just, it just for, fly for me. No, I mean, like, it's, no, I totally get it. It's hard to make peace with people, especially if they're still acting up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to me, or, or, or telling you you're not a man if you're not willing to say you're sorry. No, that's not what I said. Listen to me very carefully, okay? I didn't say you are not man if you are willing to say sorry. I said you are not even man enough to apologize. So there's a difference. Do you understand that, Lucifer? See, that's what you are. You just twist things a lot, all right? You know, wh whether that's the time promise, whether uh, some kind of telling some kind of story, you twist things like your daddy Satan. Sorry for what? You know? Sorry for what? You, I, you know, in my opinion, sincerely, that you should apologize for the things that you have been doing to me, for example. You know, you've been falsely accusing, saying that I am some sort of drug dealer. You've been falsely accusing, saying that I am some sort of pornographer, or I'm for pornography. All right? And because of that, I forwarded certain domains to your channel for a while to make a point that just because that I own certain domains doesn't mean that I'm some sort of pornographer, all right? That was to make a point. When you slander people like that, I think you should actually, like a man, apologize. And the fact that you cannot do that clearly tells me that you are not even man enough, Brucifer. For disagreeing with treating people I like crap and beating hell out. No, not for disagreeing. And also, uh, since you mentioned that, if you crap falsely like that, and people respond to your stupid false crap, right, then you should actually man up and apologize. Correct yourself saying, oh, I, I didn't know I was wrong. But thing is, you don't like your daddy Satan. A lot of them like, no, 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 no. Yeah. Just me. You know. Can't we all just get along? <laughs> but yeah, you can just get along. Yeah, I was going to get along. But when, it, uh, when things are mentioned like this, I'm going to have to face it. I'm going to have to actually address it. All right? I'm not going to sit there and just... Um, you know, I mean, like, first of all, what did I even done to any of these idiots? Huh? Did I even harm them personally? Or did I even cause anyone whatever crap? I mean, all these things are happen because they mind their none of their own stupid business. It's not even their business. And if it is going to make their business, then you know, it is only right to for them for uh, to come directly, and and actually you know lay out their concerns or whatever. You know, I mean they are not even harmed anyway. Nobody has done anything wrong to them, yet they've been crapping um, publicly 
and slandering other people. You know, what the heck is that, man? And then when that is then when that was addressed in a certain way, they don't like it. Oh, well, you know, why are you attacking me? Oh, what you know? Why should I apologize? This is exactly cowardly uh, actions that these guys has been showing, especially Lucifer. Yeah, dag on it. Now that's what made America great again. We have some freaking good old rednecks. Uh, uh, <laughs> no. This is uh, these guys call themselves their Americans. They're nothing but coward stupidity. No, I don't know. They have their place. Come on. Well, of course, yeah, yeah. That's what makes America great. I mean, no pun intended. <laughs> No, but I'm sure so, no a lot of us are different, from, and, no and the thing is, it's like yeah, we can still like somewhat function as a nation. I know it's questionable for a lot of people, at least especially the ones we're watching, but uh, we can still exist and be like pretty divided. Um, but I wish, you know, my my great wish is like people would kind of wake up to the fact that like at least the ones on the far right and the far left that you know. It's like, oh, come yeah. on, like, eh, like, stop, stop thinking that like your side is like the most righteous side and like try to work together as best as possible. Well, sure. I know, yeah. I know it's hard. I mean, I know it's, I know it's like, it might even be a fucking pipe dream, you know, but. One of the political things in America is that they are given with an illusion. They're given with certain illusion that you think that you have actually a choice. You know, they don't have any choice. Americans don't have any choice in voting matters. They vote, but they are not even direct they are not even able to directly vote their president. I mean, what kind of system is that? They only have the illusion. And then they have they meaning the elites or whatever power behind power to be. These guys, you know, make the citizens fight each other, dividing left and right. Nothing but illusion. <laughs> we should I at least try, you know, instead of like demonizing years, each, each other. I like far believe, right, far left. Yeah, I like to believe in a couple of years we hopefully we'll see that come back around to some degree. I mean, it, obviously you're always gonna have disagreement, but yeah, yeah, there's always gonna be a while. Hopefully that'll fade yeah. away. You know, it's, it's it's nothing to do with agreement or disagreement. Do you understand that, Bruce? For it's to do with your stupid nose, putting your stupid nose where it doesn't even belong. Right, and then when it's uh, reproved, when you are proven wrong, when you are actually addressed in certain way that you are wrong, you go boohoo, and you are not even man enough to apologize. And that is what's going on. It's nothing to do with certain opinion that is right or wrong, or agree or disagree. It's been bad for a number of years, but and it seems it seems like at least in this nation, it's like. Yeah, if you're liberal or conservative, whatever, you know, there's certain states that you can move to, you know, like if you, that will fit your, you know, political yeah. ideology, you know. Um, and it will, I mean, these guys cannot do uh, one iota for their, for their um, government or any kind of policy, yet they just sit here, talk about it so help, helplessly. This is most idiotic thing in the world, actually. And they call themselves their Americans. We have a rare thing here. It's not like any other nation, you know. <laughs> you are the worst nation, actually. You cannot even do anything about what you contemplate. Um, where, like, it could be so much worse is what I'm trying to get at. <laughs> you could be so much better. <laughs> but even that, you have no choice. Right, right. You know, where, where we could just have total, uh, you know, authoritarian yeah. rule or a dictator or some shit where, you know, it's like, hey, you do what the fucking government says. Otherwise, you are already doing that. You are already being ruled by that 1%. Otherwise, you get killed or thrown into a fucking concentration camp. You are already in your concentration camp. You know, well, that's like what's you, coming by next week. <laughs> what do you think that you're wearing a mask? What do you think that you're, you know, social distancing? Why do you think that you are stuck in your home? You are in your con concentration camp. You're up for it. Well, yeah, I mean, at least like, you know, people were talking about what, yesterday, March 4th, and it's like, yeah, 
guess what? They didn't do shit, as far as I know. And, uh, yeah. They okay. shouldn't. I was trying to make a point that, that he has rotated his domains pointed at you, me, and Rob for the past two years. I could so care less. Policy, he can do what he wants. Yeah, it's but I'm saying if he wants an apology, maybe he should apologize as well. <laughs> Instead of acting like an so innocent now, victim. So now, when it's rotated for two years straight. Wait, wait, I thought, no, 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 gayerotico.org, oh, what, now that's Word Project, what the heck, where am I at now? Uh, it switched to something, well, it, it directed right it's now stuck. to a Bible thing, so it does not go to my channel. It does, this guy is so stupid, it's incredible. Incredible. It's not now going to my channel, is that what you're saying, or maybe I misunderstood you? Well, who does it go to Actually, it's not gayerotico.org, okay? It's gayerotico.com. There is a big difference between .com and .org. Now, I don't know, Gay Erotico goes to I was to saying Bible that too. if he wants an apology, he should consider the fact that he's rotated those domains for the past two years towards you. Oh, yes, Rob, yes. And that he said that he didn't do anything to precede any kind of argument. And... Sabella, you got to know why it's done such a way, why it was done such a way. The being is that this idiot has been, and you too, Sabella, this idiot has been falsely accusing, saying that I have anything to do with pornography, all right? Just because I own or we control a certain domain name, in this case, gayerotical.com, all right? This guy has been telling me that I'm some sort of gay. <laughs> this guy has been tell, uh, telling others that I have something to do with pornography. All right, so to make a point that just because you own a certain domain name doesn't mean that you have certain sites or uh, that you are involved in some sort of pornography. Okay, that was done to make a point. All right. Don't you think yeah. domains like that? Yeah. It doesn't. Starting and just to be. Just to be clear, like he doesn't. Just to be clear, like he doesn't deny that he's the one that's making these domains or making the domains. I didn't make the domains, nor did I register the domain. Those domains were registered by my ex partner, and I had many partners. And one of the ex partners registered, but registered those domains. Okay. I didn't. I didn't. Do, I, that has nothing to do with me. I didn't even. Uh, I didn't even register them. Does he put it on somebody else? Sometimes. No, no, it's the other guy he works for, and that kind of stuff. It's not like I work for. They work for me. Do you know? And that's just oh, ridiculous. Okay. You know? And I don't pay attention to like everything that they do. And also, whatever they register, as long as they can man uh, monetize in a certain way, you know, that's fine. But if it is, uh, if there's some kind of complaint about it, then obviously I will be stepping in to do something about it. So it's like. But all this is none of your stupid business anyway. Okay, so he's saying he's innocent because these other guys are doing it's it, and then he, yeah. then he, then he goes to the dude and says like, "Hey, what the hell are you doing?" Type of a thing. No, it's nothing to do with that even. All right. Domain name. The point is that domain name is not a. It's not a website, all right, you idiots. A domain name is not a website. So, just because certain domain name, you have no right to accuse me of some sort of pornography. And that is the point. And if you're gonna keep on making that, then I'm going to forward those stupid domains to your stupid channel and make that quote unquote porn channels, according to your stupid logic. That's what he's claiming, at least. I, I don't know what's happening. Like, you guys know him better and what's going on better than I do. If you do not know what's going on, then shut the heck up, David. If you want to know more about it, ask me directly. Maybe then you'll be cleared a little bit, not looking like some stupid idiot. Yeah, so, because you've been dealing with this for years, I guess. 
you know. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm nothing but buffoon like these guys. I'm not really like I thought it was good that we were getting along and that kind of thing, but I mean, when it turns into that, you know, like, like I said, I mean, to be honest, I didn't call him a. No, you are not honest. Do you understand that, Brucifer? You're not honest, and you're not even man enough to apologize. Yeah. Uh, what the heck did he say? What the, I don't even remember the dang terminology. It doesn't even mean anything to me. Uh, a uh, a uh, por pornographer. Pornography. Well, yeah, well, the reality is somebody else was using that term. And so he would keep accusing... Somebody else named um, Rob, okay? Self-claiming lawyer, okay? Just because that, you know, we have certain domain names, he thinks that I'm some sort of pornography, and you went along with it. You would blame me, saying that you know, oh, because of you keep saying it. Oh, I'm, I, you know, I've called you. Well, just because I, you know, if I were to say that, then why would you say it? It is you that that said that. Using me of it, and eventually, after he said it enough times, no matter whether I, you know, I keep saying I didn't do it. Yes, you did. You called me this, so finally, I'm just like, okay, fine. Then I'll just start calling you that. I well, see doesn't matter how much other people say it, all right? You are the one who said it. And it didn't happen that way, okay? You are the one actually saying from the beginning, along with Ravi, all right? It's not like because you're made to say it. Well, if you, according to your stupid logic, then why, aren't, why can't you apologize? I keep saying to apologize, why aren't you not apologizing? After all, you are the one making the choice, aren't you? Man, this guy is so stupid. Just like your daddy Satan. I mean, you know what I mean? You keep getting accused of something you didn't do. And so the eventually, drug dealer I, thing. I didn't get into that. Well, I, I, I might have eventually. Sylvester. That was Sylvester. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Sylvester is yeah, I mean. Sylvester so alone. Because of the pot seeds. Uh... Well, I do remember <laughs> at one point, I guess, and, and that was, I mean, to be honest, when. Whenever he says be honest, he's not being honest. I know exactly this kind of people. There's, they are so opposite to what they say. Oh, frankly speaking, oh, to be honest, no, no, these guys are not honest. <laughs> Especially you, Brucifer. It, it all stems from, it's very simple. <clears throat> when I would look around and I'd see how he was treating people. Yeah, see, where you go? It doesn't matter whether I, how I uh, treat people, all right? It's, it doesn't matter. And it's because it's none of your business. And you are not in any kind of like ground to judge me and or others, hey, because, you know, you or he uh, didn't treat other people. All right? It has nothing to do with you. Just because you point that kind of crap out doesn't mean that what you have done is justified. Get it through your thick skull, you idiot. Let me tell you again. Just because you think that I did certain things to other people doesn't mean that what you have done is justified. Do you understand that, you Brucifer? Idiot. That's where it came from. When it continued and continued and to this day. Again, this is false accusation, all right? And also, you're making yourself excuses. And I'm telling you, that sort of excuses have nothing to do with you being gutless to make apologies. That's why you are not even man enough to apologize. Blaming other people, blaming me. What did I have done? Hmm? I mean, as I have said, what I do with other people have nothing to do with you. Nothing, it shouldn't be, all right? Day, it's still there. When I, when I go and look at the Uncle Sam channel and I just see him beating the crap out of people. Beating the crap out of people on Uncle Sam channel, like what? Give an example. And also, again, that's none of your business. If, I, if I'm beating crap out of people my, on my Uncle Sam channel, it's none of your business. And just because I do so, let's say I do so, that doesn't make what you have done justify or uh, what you have done validated, validated, all right? You still are responsible for what you have done. Do you understand that, you stupid idiot? constantly 
And and like the other night when I was in Levite's thing, and he's asking me, he said, I mean, it's like I have the videos. <laughs> this is one of his laughs. I know I know this guy so well. He gives this kind of laughs when he has nothing to say. Nothing. I mean, what did I even say on, on Levi's channel? Sitting in my program. It's, it's easy enough just to go through and say, well, look, you say this, bam, and guys back up, and here's what you, you, you brought up here. And then here's what you... This guy's so general. I mean, what did I even say? You can bring up again. And it's like, it's just, it's harassment, you know? What harassment? What did I even say, man? Uh, giving me a bunch of crap. Because... Like, what kind of crap, you idiot? Like, what? Because I left smoky talk. Smoky, less smoky talk. Yeah, I mean, you are the one who just sit there and have smoky insult other people. All right, if he insults like uh, Levi's wife, you just sit there. All right, because you are so gutless. If smoky insults Bill's daughter, you just sit there because you are such a coward. In my hangout, when Deb fell down and and you know I asked for mm -hmm. people to pray. And he's saying, you know, uh, Levites, well, anyhow, I didn't want to get into all that. But, you know, they, we had a big argument. You see what I'm saying? He just go like, you know, oh, like, oh, yeah, well, I don't know. I don't want to get in. Get in there. You know, tell us specifically why, what was I talking about? You are the one who is coward enough. You are the chicken who couldn't even say jack crap before, uh, before Smokey because you are so fearful of him. You are so docile. You are like a little kid before Smokey, you know? I wear that. So last night, there's Sam, you know, kind of getting on me. Well, where were you? Where were you? What were you doing? It's like, well. I didn't say, what were you? What were you? I didn't inter in interrogate like you, all right? You know, I just said, like, I was, you know, I'm wondering what, you know, what uh, Bru uh, Bruce, if, uh, Bruce, you were doing. All right. Whenever that kind of things uh, are said, then you just kind of step in as a, you know, you know, older people, older person. You would just kind of step in there and say, if you are there, right, and you are there, and say, hey, Smokey, that's too much. And why would you say stuff like that? Or you know, at least do something about it. But you just you know, put you have your thumb up in your ass, you know back to your mouth and you you shut the heck up you became so docile before your daddy satan basically i was watching smokey basically destroy himself that <laughs> destroy himself <laughs> i don't think so that's what you are doing okay you destroyed yourself you had a chance but you destroyed yourself Bruce. it's the whole point and, and, and if he's point. in here, and that is the whole point that is that's shown uh, to Levi and to me, and that's why Levi got upset because it it is proven and shown before him that you are nothing but a coward. You're calling people sluts and whores and everything else. I'm like, great, good, we got you, bud. Yeah, the fact that you just sit there and then just kind of uh, go along with it actually prove to Levi that you are nothing but a pussy, a little chicken. This is exactly what we were looking for, you know? And and, I mean, and that's exactly what he found out about you. You know, heck of all things, I remember the one night when Sabella and who all was that? Ann and uh, was it Sister Sunshine? I forget. And and I joined Smokey's Hangout. Yeah, Sister got... Sunshine. <laughs> Yeah, did you? At least to me, it was funny. I don't think he knew how to handle that because, like, you guys were all talking, you know, and I thought it was funny, you know. Like, I don't know. Did you find it funny or no? I mean, was or no, Sabella? Like when yeah, all you guys I mean, were in chat, we were all calling him out, and he couldn't mute, uh, mute us or anything. Yeah, what's he gonna do, man? He's got so, like yeah, that three people, right? It's like you know, he's got like three or four women that he's like been harassing mm -hmm. and calling names, and you're all in the same chat at the same time. And he, like, I don't think he knew what to do, you know. And I'm like, well, this is perfect. Like, that's the kind of stuff, you know, that. Well, yeah, I mean, worth it, you know. I don't know why these guys have so much pleasure in evil. Like, let them, let him just, let them act up, let them. 
if I would have kept yeah, let him, him let him expose him. himself for right. the person yeah. that he really is. And that's the thing. That's what he did. I'm not talking yeah. about the, the recent shit. I'm just talking about what he did yeah. online. That we don't know how, yeah. you know, yeah. treating people like shit. Yeah. And, but, and you are exposed. Uh, yeah. When people are mad because I didn't kick them, it's like, well, there's a reason why I didn't kick them. I mean, this is. Well, so, yeah. Well, you know, I guess you kicked me. And there is a reason why you kicked me too, right? Because you're a coward, you know? It doesn't matter where, whether you make a whole bunch of excuses later on. You're nothing but a chicken. That's proven. Yeah, you got to let him like, kind of hang yeah. himself, you know, or, or, you know, take him out to the deep waters and let him, you know, let him drown himself. Shut yeah, I mean, you can hear lots of people say what they heard, but then when you actually have it, idiot. that's, that, to me, I, I think that's important, you know, it, especially in well, a situation. Yeah like that you know and it's and it's and i find it really cool like i mean i know i'm like i like you you know we're friends but it's like even if i wasn't didn't know you anybody that's like and i'm not even i'm an atheist like uh and i of course you guys get along each other one is satanist one atheist i know you're on the fence but i still don't like you know uh people giving a bad name to christianity online you know yeah and it's none of your business actually if somebody is giving bad name to christianity since you are an atheist it actually shouldn't matter to you and if you think that it matters to you then you are not an atheist already okay just like lucifer you will be unbeliever just like lucifer you'll be the one who actually have rejected christ yeah. Give the give the the militant atheists more fuel, you know. Like, look how you know sick this person is, right? Like, right. Like, exactly. like, like, like the rage or whoever, you know, whoever it may be, you know. And because it's just like I don't, you know, I'm not a I'm not a militant atheist. I don't, you know, I'm not like them. Yeah, you are a coward too, just like Lucifer. See, if you don't like something, you should actually face up and and raise your opinion, not just hide behind and talk crap against him, you know, with your daddy. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you know, you shouldn't believe in Christianity because of, of this here. and this and this. It's like, no, I'm all for it. Like, if you want to believe in God or whatever, you know, whatever maybe, if it makes you a better person and brightens your life. You well, unfortunately, uh, I have to uh, disagree. You don't get saved by your behavior. Okay, let's let's put it simply that way and if you're going to judge other people's behavior you're going to have to check your own first all right is it okay for you to crap on other people even when they're not even here is it okay for brucifer to kick me out and then talk crap against me huh i mean think about your stupid behaviors man gives you a better life i'm all for it man as long as you know you're not breaking self-righteous bastards these guys our laws <laughs> but yeah you know yeah, yeah. real I mean, quick I though ahead, i wanted ahead. to make it very clear the drug dealer thing none of us called him a drug dealer rob highlighted when sylvester the site that sylvester pointed out calling him a drug dealer it, that came from sylvester not any of us yeah, well, all I remember this site was that Sylvester was referencing the same. Is that guy still dog. around? Well, he was from the beginning. He did that in the beginning, and then Robbie took it. All right, maybe you didn't call me drug dealer, Spella, but certainly Brucifer and Robbie did. All right, doesn't matter who started it. You always have a choice not to do it, but you went along with it. All right. I mean, I don't know why you want to blame Sylvester. Yeah, of course, he's the one who started it. However, don't you have a choice? Hmm? Don't you have your own free will to decide that, okay, you know, that's not right. I'm not going to call him this and that, whatever. Why would you blame Sylvester? All I remember, quite honestly, was simply that there was some seed company or something, whatever that was, but I do remember... Seed company? There is no seed company, you idiot. The um, 
the, the channel I went to, the massive bud ones. And I remember going and looking at the, the actual videos. I mean, where are you looking at? You're looking at some totally a, a, a wrong channel. It has nothing to do with me. And then you try to bridge that with me. That's what you've been doing. All right? That's exactly what I'm talking about, too. That's what you do all the time. You go to some stupid place, right? Including some, some, some porn crap that have nothing to do with me, and then you breach that with me. That's what you've been doing, you freaking idiot. And, and just listen to them laugh and stuff, and, and it's like all. Oh. Listen to laugh like what? I laughed at, I laughed at buns. What the heck are you crapping about anyway? Come on, man. I mean. Come on, what, man? Like what? Man, this is exactly. See, this is how Satan does what Satan do around the body. You know, he, he, he constantly make accusations based on nothing. Nothing. What? Like what? I mean, you laugh at buds? Like, how does that even relate to me? This, you know, it's like whatever. I, I never... It's not whatever. See, those kind of things, you should apologize, you idiot. Do you understand that, Lucifer? But guess what? You are not man enough to apologize. You are nothing but a little chicken. You know, and I don't remember calling him a drug dealer. Whatever. I mean, the funny is he's bringing all this. It's like, it's not whatever, all right? I'm not a drug dealer. Do you understand? And, you, and when you call it, and you call me that I'm drug dealer, then you should apologize, you know? And comparing whatever the site, and that's on YouTube too. Right, whatever the stuff on YouTube and and comparing that with me, that is totally wrong. I mean, like even before, you know, this guy was like comparing what whoever guy in that video with like hair in his on his arms. I don't have any hair on my arm. That's Caucasian arm, right? I have Asian skin. I don't have any hair in my arm. I mean, and then you put that video with me, and then you bridge that with me and call me drug dealer. Obviously, that is wrong, isn't it? But guess what? You cannot apologize because you are not man enough, you little chicken. This stuff up, and it's like my my only complaints, my only really major complaints were really, I guess, really just treating people like crap. See, again, has nothing to do with why are you treating people crap? Hmm? Also, whether that's like me or anybody else treating others crap, it's none of your stupid business. And also, just because, like, let's say that's happened, um, and that doesn't justify what you have done wrong. I mean, do not get that. Do not get that through your stupid head, huh? What you have done is not going to be validated nor justified just because you think that other people have done wrong to others, all right? It's none of your stupid business, all right, Lucifer? Don't be using G-Man's logic. And I put the, I, I call that as two cocaine. It's like, oh, yeah, I've done wrong, but you know, look at you. you. Look at this. You are doing this. You are treating other people like crap. And, and... What does that got to do with you? Hmm? What does that got to do with you crapping on me, lying against me? I mean, if I treat other people, when did I ever treat other people wrong anyway? Huh? When was it? When, when are you even talking about? What are you even talking about? For, for one thing. And let's say I did that. That doesn't still validate what you have done, what you have falsely accused. What you have slandered. That is you, Lucifer. Do you get it? You freaking idiot. You know, and uh, like getting along with Shani's mom and stuff. That he'd be all friends with her and then making videos just hammering the crap. Hammering the crap? Hammering the crap. Well, if that's the case, why why can't you say anything to Dragnut? Hmm? Why can't you say anything against like other people hammering the crap? On Shani. Oh. Oh, maybe you are a chicken. Exactly because you're not man enough. 
all right? You have nothing to say. When did I even ever hammer on a shanty? Hmm? Are you talking about like like several years ago when I had a chat with Shani's mom being concerned about her daughter? I mean, why is that even business? Why are you even bring that up? Okay? Why can't you even address the things going on right now then? Why can't you tell a drug nut, drag nut to sh you know, shut the heck up? Stop hammering on Shani. You freaking chicken, man. Nothing but lies, this guy. I thought of her. And I'd ask him why, and he'd say, well, I love her or something. You know, I'd be like... I don't remember saying that, but again, that's none of your business. All right, Brucifer? Okay? If I have some kind of talk with Shani's mom concerning Shani, it's none of your business, right? And if you are so concerned about such thing, then you should do actually do something about what's going on right now. You should actually have a saying you know, to a drag nut, all right? And the reason why you are saying this is because you want to make some lame excuses and point your stupid finger to other things and to justify what you have done wrong. That's cowardly. That's chicken, you idiot. What the heck? I mean, come on. They come on, come on. Yeah, so what? Let's say I did whatever crap you are accusing. So what? What does that got to do you uh, lying against me? What does that got to do uh, against uh, about like you slandering me? Hmm? Come on. And, Come and on. I saw this constantly with people, and obviously including myself. And I, but I'd be like, what the, what's the sense in this? Guy? Like, uh, uh, and, and and really part of the reason I guess it even came up was that Sam never did anything like we saw that went on in Smokey's channel in relation to Bill. Even that, okay. Why can't you say anything about, about that? Go to Smokey's channel, say something. Oh, you can't because you are a coward. You are such a docile before smoking because you are one of kinds. Both daughter. That, that's really, the, I guess, unfortunately, probably the, where it was going was that he's never done that. <laughs> stupidity, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nothing but Which really is a shame. You know, I don't know how. Let's go. Uh -huh. Oh, my Lord. I don't even know how it came up. I hope I didn't make that happen. I don't know. I mean, how far? I mean, how far back does this stuff go? Do you remember? Oh, oh dude, we're, I mean, for me, we're yeah, talking. I mean, ten, yeah. like 10, 12 years or so. You know, just, oh, okay. okay. Putting his stupid business where it doesn't belong forever. I bet that since he was a kid, he's been doing that. I bet that's why he has a problem with other people. That's why he has he has been having problem on YouTube too. Okay, I bet that's the problem. That's the issue. It's not like twelve years. It's just like forever with this guy. Um, and and one of the things I remember back like years ago with my, 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 my. listen, Lucifer. Just you, just two or three things, right? Mind your business, right? What you have done wrong has nothing to do with what other people do to others, right? Learn to apologize, man up. I mean, is that so hard? Would be this guy writing, uh, you dumb bass, like D-U-M and then B-A-S-S. Constantly stuff like that, you know? And be Constantly stuff like that, when was that, man? A dumbass like you, man. I mean, when was that? When are you even talking about, you idiot? I mean, aren't you the one? Let's say I call someone dumbass. What? What is your business? Hmm? What is that even your stupid business, Lucifer? Does it justify you? Does it make it okay for you to crap on other people? Does it make it okay for you to falsely accuse and lie? Hmm? Being harassed, saying, you know... Um, yeah, it's just well, then stop. You stop your stupid harassment. I mean, when I call that out, why are you crying about it? 10 minute guys you'd hang around with just saying, like, you know, time's running out, tick tock, tick tock, and um, just constantly yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like, what the heck is wrong with you, freaking people? You know, time's running out, Lucifer. You know, are you going to be remained as a, as a chicken or are you going to man up? To actually apologize 
I bet you you will not even be able to do that. I bet you cannot even man up. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's, a, it's just like yeah, it's 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 very disturbing because like yeah, so because it's like you're talking about you know eternal or what's disturbing is you minding none of your business to justify your own crap, right? That's disturbing. That's what Satan has been doing, just like your daddy. That's disturbing. You minding none of your business while trying to justify your own crap. Just because you dog on other people doesn't mean that your crap is going to be justified. All right? If you think that your crap is going to be justified, that's disturbing. Yeah, you're judging them and, and putting them in that box like, hey, you're going to be you're gonna be going to hell. It's like there's a big thing with that. You are the one judging them. All right? You are the one actually unrighteously judging them. Whatever going on with others, that's between them. All right? You have no right to judge them and sit and do whatever. That's what you've been doing. Like, when you say you're going to hell, like, that's like, dude, I mean, going that's, to hell. that's... Well, if, if you are the way you are right now, then I know that you are going to hell. What else, uh, what else are the people going to say to you? You know, I don't think I have told you that you are going to hell or anything like that. But if you heard that from someone, I'm sure you have done something. It's a bad punishment, man. I mean... And yeah, no kidding. <laughs> For you to act like the judge when it's actually God's going to be the judge, not you. <laughs> you are going to go to hell. If you continue with your shenanigan, you are going to go to hell. That's not called judgment. That's like prophecy. It's like telling you what's going to happen. All right? Judging is like, therefore, therefore, go to hell. That's judgment. Rendering the judgment. Know the difference, you idiot. You know, uh, I don't know. It's just <laughs> Rob says I'm gonna I'm gonna be at the publisher for pornography. <laughs> well, actually, sharing some of this stuff though that, that we're uh, that's... so here's the thing: when you actually mind your stupid business, that actually exposing yourself as what you are, a chicken. Right? When you mind none of your business to justify your own crap, that's chicken. And not being able to man up, that's chicken, actually. Okay? So stop false accusing. Of course you can't. Stop minding your own business. None of your business. Of course you can't. Learn to apologize. Of course you can't. Why? You are chicken. Dude's domains went. I mean, that... It never did me any good, you know, but, you know, I mean, I mean, but dumb stuff like, I mean, where it becomes difficult is kind of like when I had a channel and it gets flagged down and, you know, like Levi brought up the other night where you say, you know, nobody can beat you, whatever, yeah, that kind of stupid stuff, I'm whatever. screwing around, whatever, and, and well, I kind of like, whatever, whatever. Uh, but uh, he <laughs> brings up how well your channel got shut down. It's like, well, yeah, let's think about how that happened. The dude steals my videos, makes it so that steal your video. Fair using your stupid video is not called stealing video, you idiot. All right. When I fair use your video, that is my content. It becomes my content. Now, if you mirror my content, no matter how much you think that that video is yours, you think that is yours, that's not yours. You doing that, you mirroring that uh, content. You mirroring my fair use video is actually against terms of service. And that's why YouTube was able to drop you down. I don't know why it's so difficult. The screen wobbles around a bit. Yeah, it's nothing to do with screen, screen wobbling, all right? It's fair use that with co for comments and critiques. And if someone is making a comment or critiques for whatever the purpose, whether that's parody or satire, that is actually, uh, you know, called fair use, and that's protected under 
uh, you know, article under the article, all right? So when someone makes a response video, fair using your stupid video, that content is not yours anymore. And if you just copy that and mirror uh, in your channel, then you will be struck in. You, that's against, uh, uh, against Homes of Service. I take him back and put him on my channel and he flags my channel down. When no, it's not your own content. It was someone else's content. Okay? If someone were to like make uh, comments like what I'm doing right now and then you just mirror it, you're actually mirroring my content. It's not yours anymore, anymore. I hope you understand that. What's yours is that before any comments and critiques, all right? So the fact that you are justifying yourself uh, about stealing, actually it's stealing, you're stealing my content, right? And then falsely accuse saying that, you know, oh yeah, it, uh, oh, I just, I just like, uh, mirror my own video and then he uh, falls flag. that is lying all right Lucifer when they were my videos to begin with well no, doesn't matter how many times that it was you know it was begin from your stupid video making comments on your video is actually protected under fair use law fair use article you know I mean yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's hard to sit here and talk with a guy like it's talking to him is hard enough but i was willing to do that but then when he's asking or he's not asking for apology but just saying you're not man enough to apologize right exactly you're not man enough to apologize because you are not even man enough to actually ad admit to your own wrong but rather you gotta pull in someone else's crap you know you know you don't have to do that you gotta judge them Oh, you know, like these guys are doing this. Oh, you are doing this, right? You pull that kind of crap, and then you think that whatever you have done wrong is all okay. It's like, whoa, wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's stupidity. No, well, not. yeah, I mean, you don't, yeah, of course, like, it's like you don't feel an apology is needed. No, not at all. So, uh, of course you have to apologize. You have stole someone else's content, all right? And when you are specially asked to put that down and you keep up there, you keep it there, even despite after you are asked to put it down, then he has no choice to other than strike you. I mean, why is it so difficult to realize that? Hmm? I mean, can't you even keep that kind of like courtesy? Don't you even know what fair use is? So, so it's really rough to kind of bury the hatchets of this couple of idiots man bear the hatchet yeah sure we can bear the hatchet but i'm going to have to make it very clear what is what all right i'm not going to let this stupid idiot lucifer you know pull uh pull something uh out of other people whether that's me or any others to justify his own crap do you understand that's only what cowards do all right, bearing hatchet is easy, but you know, uh, being man enough to apologize that's difficult, and which Lucifer couldn't ever ever do in his lifetime, so to speak. Um, well, I mean, I can bury the hatchet, just don't bring the damn thing up swinging. You know? Well, why are you doing that constantly? Hmm? Why are you doing that? Oh, yeah, that's right. You are a chicken. Because you are not even man enough to apologize. And the reason why you are not man enough is because you think that you can put your stupid nose on where it doesn't even belong. You know, I mean, if you want to do that, you know, that's, <laughs> you know I yeah. mean, if he's the guy swinging the damn hatchet. Well, I mean, like, yeah, if, you're going to, if you're going to swing a hatchet, man, I'm going to swing my katana. I mean, do you understand? Why, why do you think that you, uh, you'll be the only one swinging your stupid hatchet? If you're going to swing your hatchet, then I'm going to swing mine. All right? I mean, hello. <laughs> so learn to actually admit to your own stupidity before, you know, blaming others. And I didn't start this crap. Like, whatever your uh, drug allegation or porn allegation, I didn't even start this. 
you are the one who started it. All right? You are the one who started it. Your only ex uh, excuse is that, oh, I'm not going to apologize because this guy's screaming and this guy's been doing this, you know, to the other guys, blah, blah, blah. You know? Well, that and, like, if, you, if you're feeling that, like, he's still doing this and it's not like his people that are in associates of his, you know, like, I guess he's, you know, putting a, a, a domain up for why, DB's why would associates of Why would associates of him... No, no, I'm not trying to defend no, no, him. No, no, I'm, I'm serious. Saying, serious what he's thought. saying. Why, right, but why would associates of him, this one associate apparently, before he had to talk to his guys above, whatever, why would one of those guys aim a freaking porn domain or whatever at DB Cisco? Like, for what reason? Porn domain to DB Cisco? I mean, what is that? Your even stupid business, right? Let's say someone did that. What is that? What is that? Even your stupid business to DV Cisco? I don't think no no domain has been um, pointed to DV Cisco's website. Hmm? Again, he's doing this again. He wants he wants to uh, justify himself by crapping false again and again. And this is exactly what he's been doing for years. Yeah, yeah. It's just yeah, ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's not ridiculous. Think about what you've done. Do you understand that, Brucifer? It's not because, oh, yeah, whatever he's doing is ridiculous. Therefore, I'm going to crap on you. It doesn't work that way. All right? Oh, it's ridiculous. Therefore, what I do is okay. It doesn't work that way, you stupid idiot. I, I just... Or, or with all the other, whatever, you know, I'm glad he's not. Well, well I mean, like, there seems effort. to be, like, yeah, a correlation between, yeah, anybody that kind of has a disagreement or attacks him or whatever and the, the domain names, right, you know. Yeah. No, I don't do that kind of stuff, whatever. If you falsely accuse saying that I'm some sort of pornographer and I'm going to set an example that I'm not, by actually, you know, pointing certain domain to your stupid website. Are you going to call your call your uh, channel? Are you going to call your channel a uh, porn channel now? Because some kind of domain is forwarded to you? And so that's to make a point. Do you understand that, David? Of course not. And it seems, I mean, to me it seems obvious that it's probably him, but I mean, yeah. Whether it's me or not, it's none of your business. All right, and it was done to actually prove a point, and I told you what the point was. I enjoy talking with them. I enjoy yeah. talking with them and talking about, you know, being in the Philippines and Korea and old time. Well, then talk about it. Well, why why can't you talk about it? Hello? And stuff like that, and then you know when it goes to that, and then then you know he he he's saying. What have I done? What have I done? It's like, yeah, oh, what have I done to you, man? What have, what have I even done to you? I have I have done nothing. I have done nothing. What have I done to you? Did I go to your house and crap on it? Did I, you know, I mean, did I damage your goods or whatever? Huh? Did I pluck uh, your one of your strings on your guitar? What have I even done? Hmm? You are the one falsely accusing. And then you are the one actually blaming me and saying that, oh, you know, I have certain behavior. What does that got to do with you? What does that got to do with what you have done against me when I haven't done anything to you? Do you, do you see how it works, Christopher? Oh, man, let's let this go, you know, and it's like he has to Not have to keep man. going. And then he goes into it. <laughs> let this go. Yeah, I was going to let it go. But seeing that you are not even man enough to apologize, and then you keep justifying it. You know what? In fact, I'm not going to let this go then. Why should I let this go when you cannot even realize what you have done and you keep pointing your stupid fingers out to others? Thing of, you know, you're, you guys, you know, you're not man enough to apologize. It's like, well, yeah, I'm not gonna. Oh, well, yeah, I'm, yeah. I told oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Learn to know what you have done. Okay? It has nothing to do with what I have done to other people, because that's between me and other people, all right? If I have done anything, that's between me and other people. That has nothing to do, do, nothing to do with what you have been doing, 
and which is falsely accusing against me. And just because you think that I've done something with other people doesn't uh, justify what you have done against me, when especially I have not done anything against you, Lucifer and David. Well, I understand your point of view, because it's like, you haven't felt that you've done it, you wronged him anyway. I don't, I haven't seen, like, I understand, like, you disagreeing with him, like, thinking the Mandela effect is bogus, you know, and things. And also this stupid Mandela effect. I mean, these guys don't even observe the Mandela effect. And yet they crap on it, saying that there's some kind of memory problem. First of all, how can you know that's the mem uh, memory problem if you don't even observe it, if you don't even know what it is? Huh? You, these guys don't even know what it is, yet they crap on it, saying that, you know, it's some sort of memory problem. Again, these guys are actually pointing their stupid fingers to other people, blaming other people to justify their own stupid crap. They are the one blaming others' memory when they are the one who cannot observe so-called the Mandela effect or the quantum effect, as I put it. Things like that. Well, absolutely. Or, 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 or some other things. I don't know how far it goes because you're talking like you said over a decade this has been going on. Oh, absolutely. So, yeah. 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 Mandela effect to me is, has not been for a decade. It's been 2016. What's been going on is that Bruce Lefort has been putting his idiotic nose to where it doesn't even belong for over a decade. That's what's been going on. And he's still not man enough to apologize. Yeah. And it's, it's just over a decade of watching just video content. Has nothing to do with what kind of content you're going to watch or other people's whatever the content. It's about you, your stupid behavior, you stupid idiot. Of just as best he can laughing hysterically at people. Laughing hysterically? How? Like what? And I mean, why can't anyone laugh hysterically? What's the problem with laughing? Do you have a problem with somebody laughing? And also, if somebody laughs at certain things, what is it? What is that even your business? Hmm? If, it's, I mean, if somebody laughs at certain comical things, then, you know, why are you making that your idiotic business and then turn that around against that person to cover your stupid ass? It just, you know, that's what it, that's what it is. A chicken, just like your daddy Satan. Yeah, and that's and the thing. Is and as far like as like the, Man the Mandela effect goes, it's like, yeah, I get why. Like, you know, you're you're in this like weird camp. I won't call you an atheist, you know, but like you still hold yeah, high importance to the Bible. And when it yeah, just like Satanists, <laughs> even Satan know God exists. <laughs> even Satan actually know better than any of you about the bible anybody goes like hey the, the words are changing us the war is changing us no the words doesn't change just like that okay i mean see you are saying that because you have no idea what's going on all right david you know um i'm not going i'm not going to get into it because like you know it has nothing to do with it the point here is that you have no idea what it is you cannot even observe it, yet you, you are crapping on it. You are bearing false witness, you know. You are putting your false crap when you are the one who cannot even observe the quantum effect. You know, you're probably oh, yeah. going go I mean, to go after that, you know. Well, like, sure. I mean, suppose, you know, I mean, like for me, I look at the Bible like, you know, I, I probably look at it probably more as a... Uh, I'm open, you know, and yet I look at it probably mostly as um, probably from a more liberal kind of point. This guy's so satanic, man. Oh, my Lord, it's, it's incredible. I don't, I don't understand how people don't see this. I don't understand how people don't see through this satanic idiot. It's just beyond me. Review, you know, theologically, I have for years, and yet with a lot of questions, but... But yeah, well, yeah I, I are you, are you... but I hold on to a lot of probably conservative values. Anyhow, yeah, are you are you talking about like liberal as in some of the well, uh, horrific things in the Old Testament or 
Well, yeah, and, and, and in other words, I'd say liberal in the sense of how... Anyway, I had enough of this stupidity, all right? Listen, um, Boostifa, just because you are crapping against other people, it's not going to justify your own stuff, all right? Your own lies, your own uh, false accusations, or all the things that you have done for, like, over... A decade as you put it okay what you have done is you you are the one who have done it just because you are blaming me saying that oh he laughs hysterically oh he's you know calling other people dumbass nothing they have nothing to do with your stupid behavior on YouTube do you understand it's not going to justify your false accusation saying that I'm some sort of drug dealer or pornographer. Okay? And unless you can actually man up and actually apologize for your actions, you have no right to crap on other people nor me. How, you know, like some people or I deal with others. Because, first of all, it's none of your business. Secondly, you are just nothing but a stupid coward. All right? And you, David, calling yourself Logan. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. Listen, you are the one who, I mean, you too, Bucifer. You are the one who have no clue what is going on now. You are the one who cannot and possibly will not observe the quantum effect and for you to just sit there and blame other people still not going to justify you in any way you can only appeal to your idiotic ignorance right because you are the one who are not able to see it no matter how many times you appeal to your own it's not going to actually Validate, validate what you are going to say, what you are saying. Oh, is, is there a memory problem or it's whatever, whatever. Okay? It's like these atheists saying that there is no God, appealing to their own ignorance. Just like them, you are doing the same thing regarding the quantum effect. Okay? Just because you do not see, right? And by appealing to your own ignorance, you are making the same mistake. But whatever it is, bottom line is, is that it's your problem. It's not my problem that you, don't, you do not see it. It is your problem who are not able to, uh, uh, to observe it. Okay? And it is your problem that you cannot be man up to apologize. It is your problem that you can only point your idiotic fingers and put your big old nose into where it doesn't even belong. It is your problem. It's not all my problem. It's yours. All right? So unless you can actually man up and actually take uh, your own responsibility, you'll be doing what you've been doing all throughout, even like when you are 70. All right? I mean, I cannot believe you're 60 years old that you haven't even realized yet this simple, simple thing in life. I mean, how can you not understand this sort of simple, like, wisdom of life, even at, this, at, at your age, right? Learn to actually be responsible for your actions. It's not time for you to actually blame others, therefore, you know, co you know, covering your uh, idiotic actions. And you don't have to drag up some like 10 year old, some idiotic stupid, uh, stupidity. Oh, yeah, he, this guy laughs hysterically. Or can I not laugh? Hmm? What is your stupid business whether I laugh or not? Can I not call you a dumbass? What is your stupid business for that, whether I call somebody or you a dumbass? Hmm? Is that, is, does it give you right to falsely accuse me all these years? Even now, does it give you, does that give you the right 
to actually like you know whip out your stupid victim cards here and there? Of course not. And if you still think that, then you are nothing but a chicken. A 60-year-old 60, 60 little chicken that you are. I have said enough, you know. Um, I, I don't see any reason why I should go to your stupid hangout when you're going to kick me out like that and then crap on me after that. You know, maybe I'll go to Levi's hangout and crap on you from now on. You know, I mean, I gave you enough break. I gave you enough chances, all right? I tried to, like, uh, quote-unquote, bury the hatches by going to your stupid hangout, but you end up doing the same thing, okay? So I don't see any point. So unless you can actually man up and apologize sincerely, then there is no point that I will, I'll be going to your idiotic hangout, all right? Instead, as I have said, you know, I'll be somewhere else crapping on you, how chicken that you are. All right, Lucifer? All right, Logan, David? Anyway, rest of you, thank you for listening. God bless you and have a good one. Bye for now.